everybody. Another video here for you today. Thanks for the comments on Dendel's video earlier. I just thought that was an appropriate song today. Happy Easter to those who are celebrating. Now, about a week ago, I said I had a small list of places that are pretty cool to explore on Google Earth. Well, today we're going to go visit one of them down in Utah. This is the story of humans living in what we call the United States today, a long time ago. These are called the Butler Wash Ruins. This was just a different type of video to make. The geology of this place is pretty special. This right here, this goes for 80 miles. This is called Comb Ridge down here. And this has to do with a fault line. And I'll leave a link below kind of explaining this feature, but it goes for 80 miles. Just a huge fold coming up in the earth here. And then that's one side of it. This is the other here. These ruins can be found where Utah State Route 95 cuts up over the ridge here. And then the Butler Wash ruins are right up here, just to the north. It's like there's a little parking lot down here you can park in, right here. But if you just walk up here, these ruins are right down in the wash right here. Let's go take a look, see if we can actually look at these on Google Earth here. Now, I'm assuming this main area down here got formed by an ancient waterfall coming over here, making this kind of horseshoe-shaped area here. But these caves, people lived in here about starting maybe a thousand years ago. You can see here, almost take a look right in these places. Pretty cool. You can see the stonework even right back here in some of these caves here where people were living. That is pretty fascinating to look at on Google Earth here. This main area here, these people seem to have places to store food. Some of them had kivas actually in these dwellings. Anasazi people, the native Puebloans lived here, but that is pretty cool. Seem to be about three levels here and evidence of water still flowing through here, right there and coming out right here. These natural caves here, perfect place for people to live. Imagine it gave them some cooling in the summertime, water source, shelter from the rain and the elements in these caves. There are these overhangs here. You see a few more rock work, stone work in this one. We'll take a look at a few pics. Evidence of stone work up here. And then right next to the main area, there is another spot right down here that appears people were living in. You can see right down here in this area, there appears to be stonework down here. Also, maybe right up here. Also, just north of the wash area here with these ruins in it. And we'll take a look at them here in just a second. There's also a cut canyon just north of it with those caves that appears people were living in. There is one spot right down here. Let's see if we can get in here. There appears to be ruins down here. You can get in pretty tight here on Google Earth. There you see some stone ruins here, some compartments, rooms, not sure what that is, but certainly obvious signs of human habitation there in the back of that cave, covered up by maybe collapsed ceiling there. And here is a look just farther north, but these caves seem to be pretty much everywhere in this general area. People living here about a thousand years ago. Let's take a look at some pics. They do have a few looks down on Street View. Here's a look at the area. American Southwest is a pretty beautiful place. People have been living here for a long time. And water certainly did some carving of these rocks a long time ago. Humans have been in the area for thousands of years, but the main occupation of this place comes from about 900, 800 years ago. At the site, they do have a little sign here with the site plan, what is in some of these overlooks or overhangs or caves or whatever you want to call them here. Now, a few looks at the ruins from Butler Wash and from this area here. Some of these ruins I'm going to show are not directly in the Butler Wash, but are along the Comb Ridge area there. But here you see stonework here still standing from about a thousand years ago. This place was abandoned about 700 years ago. But here is just a hint of what we could pick up on Google Earth, the stonework in these overhangs, in these rock shelters right here, maybe a fireplace right here. Here's another area, seems well preserved, whatever is lurking back there in that overhang. Here is an area, these ruins are not in great shape. This is called the Monarch Cave Ruins at the head of the Box Canyon here. 
nearby. This is called the House on Fire for obvious reasons. Beautiful stonework above the ruins here. Here's another overhang with some stone ruins. Doorway still intact there. Here's another overhang, stonework inside and outside. I just think this is pretty fascinating area. Not many people know about this. I'm just wondering if any of my subs have been in this area. This place was first mapped by American explorers about 160 years ago. They found these ruins maybe 150, 140 years ago, and the name was given to Butler Wash in 1884. Here's a look at some more of the ruins, and right back here, you can even see a painted design back there. Some of these places haven't been explored much at all, some of the lesser known canyons and overhangs. Not only the ruins make this place interesting, but it has some of the most fascinating pictographs in the American Southwest. Here is just a few of them. We'll look at some more here. Here's another area. What do these all represent? Well, it's pretty important. This is the only record that they left for us of their culture and what was important to them. What do these images represent? Part of the daily life, mythology, cosmology. Well, it's all for interpretation, but certainly celestial events. And the stars played a big part in this. Here is an area where handprints were put, and I have showed a few of these up in Red Rock Canyon, just up the way from where I live. That seemed to be an important symbol. And some, some natives connected that to Orion, the hand. I've talked about that, especially in my Moundville video. Here is an interesting area. Seems people, the legs there are lined up. Here is a symbol. Is that a serpent? A horned serpent, that's what it looks like to me. Or does this just represent water? Uh, I think that's a horned serpent. But areas up here are filled with this rock art here. Here's another image, and they call this the Lizard Man, probably because of the feet. And that image reminded me of something I found up in Red Rock Canyon. Here's a video I made two years ago, Day Hike Hail, rock art, Red Rock Canyon. Here is the same kind of Lizard Man I found depicted. Day I got hailed on way up in Red Rock Canyon. Along with Egyptian and Mayan hieroglyphs, rock art is pretty interesting to decode. And remember my Egypt videos? I showed how the pharaohs are kind of all depicted in the posture of Orion. And he is called the striding one by many ancient cultures. Well, I think this is Orion right here. What is he holding up in his hand here? But I certainly think this is a depiction of Orion here. Orion is a central hero in many ancient cultures, but he appears to be holding something in a lot of in a lot of rock art that I have noticed. In the one I just showed you, they're striding, and sometimes it's a sword, sometimes it's well something else. I like looking at rock art; it forces you to kind of transfer yourself into the minds of the people who depicted this. Why did they take the time to do this? For these celestial events, I wonder, certainly in Butler Wash, some fascinating rock art pictographs. What does that represent? I really wonder. But some of these, could it be aliens? That was for the Giorgio fans out there. But on a serious note, the ancient people looked at the heavens. And I don't know if any of you people have been out in the middle of Utah. In the middle of the night and taking a look up but it's an amazing sight even today back then i can only imagine what it looked like but they took a lot of their stories from what they saw in the sky and they were very very important to them but here is a beautiful pic coming from utah that is my video on the butler wash ruins here there are other cave dwelling sites that are a lot more popular but i like doing obscure places that people don't know a lot about that is coming from Utah near the Comb Ridge. Strange geological feature that runs for 80 miles. Site that was pretty sacred to people a thousand years ago. Ancient America, the Southwest is a beautiful place. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very safe day.